master to all of you thanks for watching yoga with master d and uh, today is our day 22 day 22 and now <laughs> eight more day remaining my god only one more week normally like tomorrow is saturday then sunday and one more week my god only we are for one more sunday uh so <coughs> okay good when i see practicing so today we will do something a little bit is strong not for your arms not for your legs today we're going to train the core muscles core muscles and back muscles basically both are supporting to your spine if your core are strong it will help you a lot in many postures especially in balancing it will help you physically the core will help you to stabilize your balance mentally your focus point definitely is very strong tool you can say which can help you to achieve balance in the as a name of pose also as the in your daily life or in the further goal of yoga so today we're going to prepare this core muscles and back muscles so class going to be a little bit tough maybe for some people because many people things like they don't have core muscles make sure everybody have core muscles okay this muscles is there always doesn't matter you are skinny or you are very fat yeah if you are a fat so you made a lot of cushion in front of your core muscles and if you are thin so you can see your core muscles but if you will not training your core muscles and back muscles it will be not that is strong enough you can feel so we will practice today let's start sit down comfortably eyes closed block booster pillows and blanket will be highly appreciated if you have belt i forget today we'll bring it later very good so sit down comfortably eyes closed back is straight this is a really hot weather is starting now here and really crazy but keep calm and do yoga stay cool cool drink cool water if you are also feeling hot in your city in your country yeah take some air fresh air at the morning just relax normal as you breathe 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 and breathe very gently join the palm in front of the chest and near the nadi chakra center of the heart take a long deep breath in chant om three times inhale gently bow down your head towards all the yogis lord shiva and patanjali inhale head up exhale release your palm palm on the knees namaste to all of you yeah so we will start with the warm up make sure even we are going to target our core muscles make sure but most of the posture will be on your arms like we are going to do some plank pose okay we going to do some forearm plank pose also and we going to do some other postures which will take your wrist your shoulders so make sure this small warm up is still important okay make sure so extend your arm forward finger separate properly make a fist open the finger make a fist very good for five quickly four three two one make a fist rotate your wrist for five four three two one reverse five four three two one finger separate turn your palm finger tip on the shoulder bring your elbow together and rotate roll your shoulder 1 2 3 very good 4 5 6 7 now reverse direction 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Release your arms, arms up. 
Pull your arms up. Very good. Pull your arms up. Pull your arms up. Exhale. Lean forward. Come to tabletop position. Very good. Come to tabletop position. Fingers separate properly. First, we will just stay here in the natural position. We're not going to do cat and cow. We're going to target the core muscles. Very good. Just breathe here first. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the navel in. Make sure in this class, complete class, your breath is very important. And especially your exhalation. Your exhalation is very important every single time. The you exhale, you pull your navel in. So it will help you to hit your core very properly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now tuck your toe. Slightly lift your knees one inch above the ground and breathe again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now lift your knees up and hips higher. Very good. Try to finger separate properly. Keep your arms straight. Very good. Heels up and down, up and down. Very good. Breathe. One breathe. Very good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Very good. Now walk your leg forward between the palm. First we will just start as we always start. A little bit warm up. A little bit sun salutation. Make sure in the salutation also we're gonna hit our core muscles properly. Hold your elbow, just hang your body up and down. Might be possible there is a morning where you are, and if there is a morning, you will feel the tightness in your body. So just move your body slightly left and right, up and down, and just stretch your leg. Very good. And then we're gonna proceed forward to our today's salutation, which is gonna be really interesting, and I hope you will like it. <laughs> Great. Everything gonna be same. You will see always I will teach you the same salutation the Hatha Yoga Sun salutation But a little bit modification can help you to target the different part of the body. So make sure it means you don't need to Avoid the salutation. Okay, you always can practice the salutation But you can target your different part of the body make sure salutation is the complete body work or complete preparation you can see now slowly press the feet down, pull the kneecap up and slowly round the spine and come up, shoulder back and down, palm by the side. So today as we're going to target our core muscles and our back muscles, so today our salutation is going to be a little bit modified according to the core and back. Let's see, feet together. <coughs> Join the palm because the class is going to be hard. So before we start, let me pray for you guys and pray for myself. To the sun please create a little bit more heat so we can lose a little bit more fat so belly will be more slim core will came more out you can see your six packs or eight apps properly so eyes closed listen the mantra this is the mantra dedicated to the sun Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaye Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Bhanvaya Namaha Om Khagaya Namaha Om Pusane Namaha Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha Om Ariche Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Arakaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha Slowly burn your head towards the sun. Pray to the sun to give you a lot of energy for your healthy, wealthy day, healthy, wealthy life. Inhale, head up. Very good. Very gently inhale, open the arms, lift the chest, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, extend your arm forward, go down, head down to the knees. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, toes out, lift the chest, raise the arms up. 
Very good. Exhale, drop the palm down. Now listen carefully. Right leg is straight. Very good. First, bend the left leg here for a second, then move it back. Plank pose. Knee down. Chest and chin down. Toes out, chest up. Stay here for a second. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, right leg forward. Between the palm, left knee down, lift the chest. Raise the arms up. Exhale, drop the palm down. Bring the left leg forward. Head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms up, look up. Exhale, join the palm. Inhale, raise the arms up, look up. Exhale, extend your arm forward. Go down, head down to the knees. Inhale, left leg back. Knee down, toes out, lift the chest, raise the arms up. Exhale, drop the palm down, straight your left leg. First, bend the leg at the knee. Stay for a second, then move the leg back. Plank pose. Drop the knees down. Chest and chin down, toes out, chest up. Come to cobra pose, stay for a second. Exhale, hips back. Mountain pose, inhale. Left leg forward, right knee down, lift the chest. Raise the arms up. Exhale, drop the palm down. Bring the right leg forward, head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms up, look up. Exhale, join the palm. Second round, we're gonna hold for a two count every round. The round we are doing, we will hold that much count. Inhale, raise the arms up, look up. Exhale, bend forward, head down. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, toes out. Lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down, straight your right leg. Bend the left leg at the knee. Stay for a second. Move the leg back, stay one. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, pull the navel in. Two. Drop the knees down. Chest and chin down. Toes out, inhale, lift the chest up. Very good. Cobra pose. Make sure you are using your back strength. Do not lift your body all the way. You can lift your arms. One. Two. Place the palm, tuck your toes, hips back. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down. Lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down. Bring the leg forward, head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm. Inhale, raise the arms up, look up. Exhale, bend forward, go down. Inhale, left leg back. Knee down, toes out, lift the chest, raise the arms. Exhale, palm down, straight the left leg. Bend the right leg at the knee, stay for a second. Move the leg back, plank pose, feet together. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Drop the knees down, chest and chin down. Toes out, chest up. Bhujangasana, you can lift your palm up the surface. One, elbow in all the way. Two, palm down, hips back. Mountain pose, inhale, left leg forward. Right knee down, lift the chest, arms up. Very good, exhale, palm down, right leg forward, head down, inhale, come all the way up, arms up, look up, exhale, join the palm. Third round, inhale, raise the arms up, look up, exhale, bend forward, go down, inhale, right leg back, knee down, toes out, lift the chest, raise the arms, exhale, palm down, straight your right leg, Bend the left leg at the knee here. Stay for a second. Move the leg back. Plank pose. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the knees down. Chest and chin down. Toes out. Chest up. Palms above the ground. Elbow in. Very good. Shoulder open. One breathe. Feel the back strength, two, three. Drop the palm down, hips back, mountain pose. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down. Lift the chest, raise the arms up. Exhale, palm down, left leg forward. Head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend forward, go down. Inhale, left leg back. Knee down, toes out, lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down, straight the left leg. 
Then bend the right leg at the knee. Stay for a second. Move the leg back. Feet together, plank pose, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Drop the knees down, chest and chin down. Toes out, chest up. Breathe, palms up. One, breathe. Two, three, palm down, hips back. Mountain pose. Inhale, right leg forward. Left knee down, lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down. Left leg forward. Head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm. Inhale, raise the arms up, look up. Exhale, bend forward, go down. Inhale, right leg back. Knee down, toes out, lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down. Straight your right leg, bend the left leg. Here, stay for a second. Move the leg back, plank pose, breathe, inhale. Exhale, pull the navel in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Knee down, chest and chin down. Toes out, chest up. Very good. Lift your palm above the surface. One breathe. Lift the chest higher the more you can. Two. Three. Four. Palm down, hips back. Mountain pose. Inhale, right leg forward. Left knee down, lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down. Left leg forward. Head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, left leg back. Knee down, toes out, raise the arms up. Exhale, palm down. Straight your left leg. Bend the right leg here. Knees right in between the palm. Move the leg back, plank pose. Breathe, very good, one drop of the sweat. Two, inhale. Exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, knee down, chest and chin down. Inhale, lift the chest up, palms up, very good. One, two, three, four, exhale, hips back, very good. Inhale, bring your right leg forward between the palm, very good. Left knee down, raise the arms up. Exhale, palm down. Bring the leg forward. Head down to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, left leg back. Knee down, toes out, lift the chest. Raise the arms up. Exhale, palm down. Straight your leg, hold the knees here, one. Move the leg back, plank pose. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Drop the knees down, chest and chin down, toes out, chest up, palms up. Very good. One breathe, two, three, keep your feet on the ground, four hips back. Inhale, left leg forward, right knee down, lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down, bring the leg forward, head down. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm, and now last round. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bend forward, go down. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, toes out, lift the chest, arms up. Exhale, palm down. Straight your right leg. Bend the left leg at the knee. Move the leg back. Plank pose, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, very good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
knee down chest and chin down toes out chest up very good palm by the side lift the palm up one breath try to lift the chest up but keep your feet on the ground too you can feel the back muscles very properly three four five palm down hips back very good inhale right leg forward left knee down lift the chest raise the arms up exhale palm down left leg forward head down to the knees inhale come all the way up arms up exhale join the palm inhale raise the arms up exhale bend forward head down inhale left leg back knee down toes out lift the chest arms up exhale palm down straight the left leg bend the right leg at the knee for a second here move the right leg back breathe inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale knee down chest and chin down toes out chest up palm by the side one breathe two three four five exhale hips back very good hips higher very good inhale left leg forward right knee down lift the chest arms up exhale palm down right leg forward head down inhale come all the way up arms up exhale join the palm palm by the side relax your breath so now until now you can understand where we are going to work here which is your rectus abdominis this is on the back your rectus spine and you can start to feel little little pain that is shows your core strength very good palm by the side breathe inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale very good inhale raise your arms up so we will straight away moving to the posture okay we might be possible class not going to be one hour it can be less than one hour okay but we will just target right away to the part we're not going to do so many postures inhale raise your arms up very good exhale bend forward halfway go down drop the palm down okay just stay here for a while inhale lift the chest up back straight very good look forward because this is always we do it's very important one breathe two three four five exhale head down one two three four five drop the palm down walk your leg back come to downward facing dog this is a very normal posture downward facing dog we have a two variation to do the posture one we do from the downward dog but this is for the beginner okay so let's see if you are a beginner you can start from the downward dog otherwise we can also do the same thing from the plank pose okay make sure from the plank pose can be a little bit harder for you so make sure if you are a practitioner then you do from the plank pose otherwise you do from the downward dog okay so what to do we're gonna lift the leg up here if you are in the downward dog inhale exhale bring the knees to the right elbow here inhale up okay so this round we do from here exhale again touch your knees to the elbow or your armpit inhale up exhale squeeze your core muscles and touch three inhale just a touch okay not support exhale four inhale last one we're gonna hold for five exhale just touch okay just touch one two three four five inhale up exhale leg down okay now other side inhale lift your left leg up exhale knees to the left elbow or armpit inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale 
exhale and last one inhale exhale see just touch here okay one two three three four five inhale exhale knees feet down knees down hips back child pose very good one two three four five inhale head up very good so this will help you also in the palm balance and all other things okay now second preparation come here second preparation from the plank pose come to the plank pose lift your right leg up here inhale exhale knees to the forehead and try to touch your forehead okay inhale exhale inhale leg back but do not move your rest of the body exhale touch inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale five four three two one inhale exhale now left leg up inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale one two three four five leg back hips up knees down hips back i know this is gonna be harder also hard for me not that easy releasing a lot of sweat very good but this is really interesting and very important for all of us if you want to double our core strength okay relax normalize your breath breathe breathe and now the most important or interesting one the reverse okay so cross right knee to the left elbow okay this way and then we will change left knee to the right elbow this way okay so very good <laughs> lift your knees up inhale exhale inhale leg back 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 leg down inhale left leg up exhale to the right inhale exhale left knee to the right inhale leg back exhale inhale leg back exhale inhale leg back exhale inhale leg back knee down hips back arms back child pose relax normalize your breath so this is the hard part of the class this is just half an hour you can really feel those muscles which we are going to work our rectus abdominis our obliques okay yeah now easy way okay this was the hard way which can also train your arms a lot you can feel the triceps muscles your shoulder also okay okay so now from here first we going to rotate our wrist because we had done a lot of plank pose on our wrist so just rotate you can just do like this or just rotate here okay for 5 4 3 2 1 reverse 5 4 3 2 1 turn your palm finger tip on the shoulder roll your shoulder otherwise if you are a beginner your shoulder going to be really tight after this so make sure roll your shoulder 1 2 3 4 5 five. now reverse 5 4 3 2 1 and one release your arms now inhale raise your arms up exhale come to table top position here very good a very simple practice maybe you did many time okay but might be possible you never feel your core muscles in this so try to practice and try to feel okay so inhale extend your right arm forward and move your left leg back and right now here breathe properly inhale exhale pull your navel in 
inhale exhale you can feel your core muscles inhale pull your arm forward leg backward exhale pull the navel in inhale exhale inhale exhale palm down is down very good inhale left arm forward right leg back breathe inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale drop the palm down knees down very good now we will cross the ankle push your hips back and sit down like a straight basically we have a lot of a lot of practice for the core but we will just choose some things okay okay so what we will do here is here first practice we will do a very simple one bend forward okay we will bend forward so just we can relax our arms our core for a second okay and then we will again go forward to the core very good so just hold your feet here head down don't pull don't pull just relax here breathe one two three four five inhale head up very good so one very common posture you've seen many times which is called boat pose so for a beginner those who never did before they can do here like this way or they can lift the legs here and arms by the side of the knees breathe inhale try to maintain the spine straight the more you can exhale pull the navel in breathe is very important inhale exhale pull the navel in two inhale exhale three inhale exhale four inhale exhale five leg is straight and can go down and lay down very good relax normalize your breath here not savasana don't be happy very good it's just uh, for a second very good and now almost the second is finished okay <laughs> now we will do lower boat okay lower boat that was high boat okay extremely high a lower boat so what to do palms lift up a little bit lift your chest up look at your navel and then lift your legs up slightly and breathe this is more crazy one inhale exhale pull the navel in two more higher inhale exhale pull the navel in three inhale exhale pull the navel in four inhale exhale pull the navel in five now lift up come 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 cross your ankle place the palm down and lift your hips up hips down leg is straight very good so this was our boat pose very important for your core okay now one pose should be seen many times which is called brahmacharya asana okay i will show you quickly you can try if you can't try then i will give you very good modification i thought i taught yesterday i don't know you or in my regular class i don't know that <laughs> because i teach four five class a day so i don't know which class i'm teaching what very good stay here palm down here by the side of your thighs head down slightly and breathe first say god bless me give me strength and today i'm gonna see the strength of my six packs let's go palm down finger separate and inhale lift your hips up and heels up at the same time inhale one two three four five down okay so this is brahmacharya asana it is really very tough for your lower abs to keep your legs parallel to the ground might be possible many of you can't do that so what you can do you can use this two block here so you can place this two block here okay try to see very properly make sure your legs should be very parallel okay not like uh, i give you this block so you are placing a leg here and lifting here not like this this is nothing this is like a dancing here okay we're not doing that okay or many people are lifting like like this way not like this way try to see very properly so we slightly bend the leg here okay and place the palm by the side of the hips okay you inhale lift your hips up and exhale push your hips back so your leg going to be parallel to the ground okay see properly and try to practice properly inhale lift up exhale straight one can you see that two 
three, four, five. Relax. So this way you can practice this posture. Place the block back. Gonna be beautiful. Very good. After this, after this, normally, if you can't do anything, you can just simply cross your leg and stay here. And try to keep the knees together and breathe here. Breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now lay down on the belly. Very good. Okay. I will lay down this side. Lay down the belly. Very good. Here. Very nice. Normalize your breath. First few round now we will do for the back strength and then we will do the core strength, few more posture. So first we just wanna relax our back. Very good. So open the leg this way. Keep your elbow together and place your palm on your face and just relax. This is not a strengthening but it's a relaxing posture for your back one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, fine. Palm down by the side of the chest. Feet together will be more harder. You can open the feet will be more easier. Make sure one thing we are going to do cobra pose. Maybe many of you know cobra pose and you are doing cobra pose like this way. So this cobra is not about your back strength. This can give you back pain. This is exactly your back flexibility but can give you back pain in many cases. Okay, so you don't need to do like this. You don't need to spread your arm at all in this cobra pose. Make sure how you need to know your back strength. You can try this posture like I'm doing right now and can feel, can you feel any strength on your back? The answer is not at all. Not at all. Okay, yeah. So, how to do? If you are a very big bodybuilder, your back muscles are very, very tight, then you can definitely, okay? Here, you will place your palm here, lift your palms up here at the surface, keep the elbow in, open the shoulder, and lift your chest up. The more you can go. And basically, this much is your cobra pose, supposed to be for the back strength. Right now, feel your lower back, and if you don't want to feel, you want proof, so place your palm on the back and you can see these two thick, thick muscles. In between there is a river, okay. So as you can know, this is between the spine. By the side of the spine, there is a two muscles called erector spine. So as you want to strengthen here, you can see here. You can lift up by your back strength. How long? One, two, three, four, five. Bye-bye. Relax. So this is your back strength, okay. Cobra pose is mostly the back strength posture. Very good. Now, second, a small cobra, you can say a snake pose. Okay, a snake is, is going to the floor. Cobra is this one, okay? Remember, <laughs> very good. Now place the palm behind the back, interlock your finger, roll the shoulder back. And inhale, lift your chest up. This is also completely your back strength. You can see that there is no support at all. One, two, three, four, and five. Go down, relax. You can move your hips back to relax your back for a second. Otherwise, you will feel a difference. If you feel a little bit different, don't be worried. Okay, first time you're trying these things, can be hard a little bit. One, breathe. Two, three, four, five. Lean forward. Make sure most of the girls who are having over arch on the lumbar back it's very important for them to train their back muscles and core muscles otherwise they can have easily back pain okay and it's not good in the late run okay and if you have a back by big belly so definitely you have over arch on your lower back maximum time okay so make sure to reduce your belly if you can otherwise practice yoga will help very good now you can extend your arm forward very good look forward very good look forward inhale lift your both arms up and legs up and time to be superman this time need to save the world lift up one feet together will be great two this is your back strength this is what you need to be if you are going to be a superman to breathe very good three strong core strong back superman three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. 
normalize you breathe very good so three posture four posture is enough for your back strength right now now we're gonna do the core again so here we are now this time we're gonna do the forearm plank not a straight arm plank because the straight arm we had done a lot so your arms gonna be tired feet together here interlock the fingers so if you can't do straight arm plank you can do this forearm plank so first you lay down then check your elbow under the shoulder is not or not if not in the shoulder so make sure your elbow is supposed to be properly under the shoulder and then lift your hips up from here lift your shoulder up lift your hips up try to maintain the body body pillow to the ground one breathe try to look at your toes but do not lift your hips like this way okay make sure body should not move anywhere one breathe <coughs> two three four five six breathe seven eight lay down relax normalize your breathe normalize your breathe normalize your breathe so this is all until now we are targeting our right in front of the belly like in front of the spine which is rectus abdominis behind the back which is erector spine now there is some supportive muscles which is called obliques right in this side body it is okay so we gonna train those muscles now so how side plank with the forearm down like this way you can lay down like here first you don't need to do a very heavily lay down here like this way okay then place your top leg in front or behind the, the heel anyone you want or over each that is also fine and then lift up here okay then place your palm on the belly on the lower side you can see here is the oblique try to lift this shoulder up breathe exhale one inhale exhale two inhale exhale three inhale exhale four inhale exhale five inhale exhale six hips higher the more you can inhale exhale seven inhale exhale eight relax very good then you can turn around other side basically if you will do one side only one side you will feel pain so you can do right away to the other side you don't need to take rest in between inhale lift up inhale but place the palm will help you to understand inhale exhale 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 very good relax lay down so this is for your obliques okay which is very important which is gonna help you support your core muscles and your spinal muscles also when you're doing the balancing posture not only your those apps are working only okay make your supportive muscles is also very important okay otherwise your body will go any side left and right and you can't control make sure core is complete section okay make sure now if you want to try with the straight arm you can try or otherwise you can stay with the forearm as we had done okay so let me show you the straight arm one very good place the palm by the side touch your feet together inhale lift up here then turn the body sidewise and raise the left arm up or you can place it basically i always place it here so you can feel one two you can feel the move of your belly three and you can feel the muscles four five six seven this move is very important inhale exhale 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 come down to the plank pose and then lower the body down slowly lay down very nice okay so this is your plank pose your side plank pose okay now i think this much is enough for uh, today 
because basically there is so many things to do more but uh, it will be really tired and make sure after the practice you roll your shoulder very properly okay so we will quickly do a last practice then we will do one inversion posture head stand okay or uh, hand stand okay you can see how it looks like when we are using the core strength in these postures how it's hard or not so most of the people are the palm balance lover like they are the lover of the arm strength right everybody want to lift the legs straight up in press ups okay so what we can do for that is okay this side i will show you okay this way <coughs> so i have this small cushion okay so i will put it here if you have any cushion you can put it there or you can wear your socks okay and then what we are going to do we are sliding our leg back and front okay five to ten time as much as you can do i think you are tired you can do five also i'm also tired let's see how many i can do i will try my best okay so we need to stand here in this okay our palm can be a little bit in front okay here we are in the uttanasana very good and inhale go back and exhale go back to the plank pose and exhale pull the navel in and bring the leg back but do not bend the leg the straight leg inhale and then turn your toes exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale engagement is very important inhale exhale inhale exhale okay so this way we can move our legs will help you to use your core strength there is many other posture in the laying down the belly in the next video we will cover some days okay okay so now first we will do head stand okay and let's see if we have time so we can do the another maybe forearm stand will be interesting let's see <coughs> so head stand all the stand in the press ups look similar okay yeah so head stand first so we're going to drop the forearm down interlock the finger and drop the center of the head down take the toes lift the knees walk the leg forward and here we're going to pull the navel in and lift the leg straight slowly up this is the core strength 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 go down and come down if you can do this then congratulations very good wonderful you are doing really good i appreciate it <laughs> okay so you can do that so we can go for the forearm balance forearm balance is really very hard let me see can i do today or not normally i can do many time but today this is not my proper clothes okay anyway we'll try might be possible can fall back also Let's see. First, say yourself, relax, and you can just see this time, and then later you can try. <coughs> If you can't lift up all the way, so you can slightly also kick up a little bit. Two legs together, we're gonna lift up. Walk. This way. Okay. Wait for a moment. relax normalize your breath because this class is really hard always <clears throat> so you can feel a little bit tough very good now let's see go walk but see i told you many time that's why i told you many time to lift your two leg up straight away is not that easy job it will take effort 
you can lose balance very quickly also okay it take a lot of concentrate and when you are tired so then it's more hard okay so this is live you are watching me live means i'm not editing anything you can see that okay it's not only for you also for us we are, which we are doing every day we teaching also we practicing also but if you're tired so you're tired okay <laughs> very good go again let's see come on never give up <laughs> start One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. So this is by the core strength. We are lifting our two leg up. Okay. So make sure when you are using your two legs together, it takes you a lot of core strength. You are lifting a straight, not bend, a straight leg up. Okay, bend leg will also take core strength, but not that much. So this is for today. Palm balance I will show you in the next video. Some days, don't worry. There is a lot of thing to do, a lot of things to teach. So day by day, because right now the time is almost over. <coughs> so this is our day for core strength. I hope you guys enjoy. You can feel your core. A little can be painful one day might be possible but don't worry about that and don't take any medicine for that because many people are <laughs> scared and they go to doctor and taking some pill don't do like that okay make sure it's just because of you practice okay so it's very normal okay so don't be afraid okay just relax and this is for today so enjoy congratulations you had done 22 days with me and i really appreciate all of you your comments and that is really very beautiful to see all of you are practicing i can see every day people are practicing more and more so very good and enjoy so please thanks to all of you to watching yoga with master d and please share the videos with your friends and family and hit the like if you like the video and please comment below what else you want to learn what is something good or something bad or whatever you can do or cannot do in the video so please mention i will help to make another video for you and we will try to grow up together let's just enjoy namaste stay safe stay at home don't go outside eat healthy food keep practicing and six packs coming soon namaste bye bye